but here we go. Recording progress, we're rock and roll. Good evening, hi, my name is Frankie Kington. This is my dear friend, Joma Delia. And thank you again for joining us on this live interactive learning forum for young adults, where we share our workshop and what we've learned as entrepreneurs and thought leaders to help the younger generation be the incredible people that they are. But we'd like to see more of them and their incredible qualities. And I hope that we can help them on their journey to success. So thank you so much, Joma, for being here, my dear friend. Oh, my thank pleasure. you so much. I'm really looking forward to um, this workshop. I'd just like to thank a few people who are always working behind the scenes to make this workshop happen. Anshi Tawari, Andrea Jimpintianu, and ladies like Lisa Marie, who are part of um, our live global speakers community. We do a speakers talk where we're encouraging entrepreneurs and thought leaders and people who want more of a voice on the same live global speakers community to speak up and talk about their entrepreneurship and their voice to get them more recognition online and social media and doing what they do to help make a difference into the world and to people's lives. So thank you so much guys for all the work that you do. You're always working behind the scenes to make this happen for me and Joma and we really appreciate you. So thank you for being here. And this workshop is going to be on embracing personal responsibility. And my dear friend, John Medellin is gonna tell us and explain to us how we do that. So this is gonna be really vital information and I really hope that you get what you can out of this workshop to help you and move your life forward. So get your pens or pencils and your paper ready and look forward to an amazing workshop again. John Medellin, my dear friend, thank you for being here. How are you? Ah, good morning, my dear friend. It, it is always a pleasure. I look forward to our events and our monthly events. It's one thing that excites me. And here we are. I, it's amazing how time flies. Uh, before I continue, I would like to uh, say to our dear friend, Andrew, I, I think it was her birthday yesterday, so belated happy birthday. I, I hope that you were able to enjoy your God-given special day with full of joy, full of laughter, and uh, wonderful memories with your loved ones. So, Happy birthday, my dear friends. As our friend Frankie said a few seconds ago, this session, it is about embracing personal responsibility. Why is it important? Why is it important to you and I to embrace personal responsibilities? It's a big topic, I know. And I'm not naive that uh, there's uh, that I can't cover everything that there is to cover about this subject. And uh, I know that a lot of coaches in this group might have a different take about what it means to embrace responsibilities. So the next 30 minutes or so, my goal is to share with you my thoughts about this idea of embracing personal responsibility, why it is important, why that if we neglect to embrace responsibility, what's the price that we have to pay? And to share with you some practical tools as well for us to slowly and more and more embrace personal responsibilities in our lives. So that's what I have for you this morning. And thank you for joining us. Happy, beautiful, beautiful Saturday. So Frankie, just yeah, again, we'll, we'll do it like what we did in the past. We'll make it informal conversation, dialogue. If you have any questions, you know, I think I say, feel free to stop me and ask the question. Feel free to interject as well if you have some ideas or thoughts or probably experience that you, that you can chime in uh, and, and we'll do it that way. Sounds, sounds good? Sounds great. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so this personal response, why is this, this personal responsibility is personal to me. <laughs> Uh, I, I know for a fact for myself, and I can assure you that some of you can relate to this. Most of the joy that you experience in life happened when you were in control. Happened when you know that you were embracing the responsibilities, doing the things that you said you will do. Often it is in those moments that you experience great success 
great joy and great satisfaction in your life. Though it is true, it is also true the other way. I know for me that when I neglect personal responsibility, I feel less joy, less confident, less successful in my life as well. I know that to some of you, you can relate to what I just said. And that's why this subject of embracing personal, respons personal responsibility, it's so crucial, so vital, not only to you, to your family, to your clients, and to everyone who's around you that you love. Let me start with this. Why must we embrace personal responsibility? <clears throat> Why must we do it? Here's my first thought. Why it is vital for you and I to embrace responsibility. Because embracing personal, personal responsibility shows that we care, that we care about ourselves, we care about our family, and we care about our loved ones. When we embrace responsibility, we, share, we show that I care about myself. I care about my family, and I care about my loved ones. Here's what I mean. I'll give you an example. I know that when I neglect my responsibilities to my family, it shows that I don't truly care about them at that moment. Because if I truly care about the moment, I will do the things that I know I need to do that shows that I love them. Concrete example would be this. My financial, my financial responsibility to my family. If I don't meet my financial responsibility to my family, like the rent, my share of my rent, the food, and all the other things that shows my responsibility for them month after month, if I don't embrace the responsibility, it shows that I don't really care about them. What about in a workplace? You neglect to do your work. So now the whole team is affected by your ne negligence of not embracing your responsibility at work. It shows that at that moment, at least, that you don't really care about your teamwork, about your team, because you're not embracing the responsibility that, you, that belongs to you that will help the team do better. You see the point? that when we neglect personal responsibility, it shows that we don't really care, at least at that moment, to the things that we say or to the people that we say we care about. So that's one of the things about personal responsibility. When we embrace personal responsibility, when I say, these are my responsibilities month after month to my family, these are my responsibilities at my work with my team, when we do these things, it shows that we truly value these people, that we care about them. So that's one of the reasons why personal responsibility is so key in, in letting people know, hey, I care about you. And one way I'm going to show to you that I truly care about you, I am going to embrace my responsibility that I said that I will do to make your life easier. So that's the main reason, one key reason why embracing responsibility is a vital component of our joy. Also showing care to the people that we love. Another point of embracing responsibility is this. Embracing responsibility allows us to embrace the struggles that we need to embrace so that we can experience greater joy down the road. Let me say that again. One of the key reasons why we must embrace responsibility is because it allows us to embrace the difficulties and the struggles that sometimes you want to run away from. But yet it is in these struggles that at the end of these struggles, it is a greater joy. And we can't experience this greater joy unless we go through these struggles. And the only way to go through these struggles is to embrace that responsibility that says, these are the struggles that I know I have to go through. These are the struggles that I know I have to push through for me to experience the joy behind these struggles. See, if I don't embrace responsibilities, I will push away. I will run away from these struggles because I know that going through it 
may be painful. Going through it, I might do things that I don't want to do. <laughs> but if I say, you know what? It is my responsibility to my family. It is my responsibility to myself. It is my responsibility to my coworkers. It is my responsibility to my clients to go through these struggles and difficulty in my life, knowing that going through it, at the end of it, I'll be able to experience greater joy, greater satisfaction, greater confidence in my life. So personal responsibility- I love the way you put that. I'm sorry? I love the way you put that, Joe, and it's really important. You highlighted some really important points here about um, going through struggle and experiencing the joy. I think as well, John, what's important, because you, you're definitely right, but I think it's really important that we appreciate it as well. When we've gone through it, we appreciate it more. We yeah. respect it more. It's more, it's more, um, it's more appreciative. It's more rewarding to look when we've been through it and we've come out fighting and we've come out winning. It's more rewarding for our lives. It Isn't is. that right, Joma? We appreciate it a lot more, you know. It is. You, <clears throat> yeah. We do. We do. I'll give you a concrete example. Right now, I'm, I'm back to school. I'm 51 years old, going back to college. Uh, I've decided to pursue a career that I've been wanting to pursue for years and years and years that I have put, put in the back burner. So I'm pursuing my nursing degree right now. I'm still taking the general ed prerequisites. God willing, in about a year, I'll be in the program. So for me to be in the program, I need to pass anatomy, psychology. So those are two classes that I have right now. And it's difficult. It's difficult to memorize all, all the bones, the nerves, uh, every organ in the body, how they work. And all. so that's a struggle, but it's a struggle that I have to go through. It's a struggle that ha an, uh, it's a responsibility that I have to embrace to set a time to study, uh, to memorize over and over and over, and over again. I don't like it, but I know it's part of my journey to be able to experience that career, the career that I know I'm going to be excellent at. But if I don't embrace the responsibility of this is the struggle that I have to embrace, that I have to go through, then I will run away, push away, drop out, drop, drop out from those classes. But since I understand that this struggle of mine of I need to memorize this, I have to learn this, I have to spend hours, hours and hours to really learn the subject. I understand that these are the struggles that I have to embrace to experience the joy that I want. I know I'm able to experience down the road. So personal responsibility allows us to embrace the struggles that we would normally push away from. The thing, another key, key important of personal responsibility is this. Um, embrace, to embrace personal responsibility is to put ourselves back in the driver's seat of life. To embrace personal response, personal personal responsibility is to put ourselves back in the driver's seat of life. Here's what I mean. Tell me if you can relate to this, my dear friend. Isn't it true that when you're neglecting personal responsibilities, when you're not doing the things that you said you're going to do or the things that you know you should be doing, it feels like you're just in the driver's seat in a car. Wherever the driver takes you, you just follow. You might end up in a place that you sometimes you like, or sometimes you end up in a place that you don't like, that you don't like it at all, but you feel stuck because you're not in control. That's like a person who's not embracing responsibility. Wherever the wind blows, you go. Maybe you might end up in a place that you like. Most of the time, you end up in a place that you don't, that it gives you pain, it gives you lack of confidence, it gives you lack of accomplishment. But by embracing personal responsibility, it puts you back in the driver's seat. You end up controlling the vehicle, which is your life. You end up, no, I'm going to go to the left because the left is a lot, will allow me to experience greater joy, greater love, greater confidence in my life. I'm going to stay away from moving to the right. Because the right, if I move to the right, I'll feel pain, lack of accomplishment, lack of confidence. By moving to the right, it shows that I don't truly care about my family, about myself. So embracing responsibility puts you back in the driver's seat of life. 
it allows you to control where you want to be, where you need to move, where you can experience greater joy, greater love, greater accomplishment, not only for you, but also for your loved ones as well. So those are three reasons why we must embrace responsibilities. It puts us back in the driver's seat. It allows us to embrace struggles that we would normally push away from, even though we know the struggles that we have to embrace or we want to run away from are part of the journey to experience greater joy, greater satisfaction in life. And then the first thing is the reason why you and I need to embrace responsibility because it, it will show that you truly care about yourself. It will show that you truly care about your family. It will show that you truly care about your other loved ones. And if you're working with a team, you're doing your job, it shows that you also truly care about them as well. Those are three reasons. Three key reasons why we must embrace personal responsibilities. Oh, it's great, Joe, man. It's really important. I like the way you say, you know, embracing responsibility <laughs> because we've got to be responsible for our own lives. If we're not responsible for our own lives, we won't be responsible for, for our family's lives or responsible for other people's lives. So it's really important that when we're being responsible for our lives, we embrace it but we hold ourselves accountable for what it is that we need to do in our lives. That is important, isn't it, in Joma? Because that really teaches us about really loving and caring for who we are as people. We've got to love and we've got to care for ourselves. So to do that is embracing responsibility for our lives. That's how we mm -hmm. see a shift and see um, a Joma is um, a life transform transformational coach. That's how we transform our lives from within, taking responsibility for it and owning it. It is. He said owning it. And uh, since I know that part of the things that we do, you want to reach out to young adults. Again, if you have, if you're, if you're a parent, right, this is one thing that uh, probably one of the best gifts that we can give to our young ones. Uh, it is this idea of learning to embrace personal responsibilities. And it can start at home. So if you have a young one now, you know, teach them to embrace responsibility of fixing their bed in the morning. It can start from there. Right? Uh, teaching them that when, when they come back from school, probably the first thing they, they do is check if the trash in the kitchen is, is, is full and needs to be thrown away. Right? That's teaching responsibilities. And the more we teach the young ones to embrace responsibility in small things, the more that they will learn to embrace greater responsibilities in life as they move on. And guess what? Just imagine, just imagine when they start to go to work, when they start to have their own family, they have developed this healthy habit of embracing responsibilities and how that will possibly affect everything they do. So teach them while they're young. Embrace responsibility. Start by fixing your bed, looking around in the house, what it is that I can do to help my family. That's just a side note. That's amazing game, John, what you said. And when you talked about that as well, <clears throat> be, be in the driver's seat of your life when you're in the driver's seat of your life, you're in control of your life. You're in control of your destiny and what it is that you need to do in your life to move forward responsibly and in a positive direction. So John Madeleine touched on some really, really important points about how we embrace <laughs> personal responsibility and why it is up to us to actually put that into action. Yeah. So basically, um, you've touched on the three key points there, um, John Madeleon, about yeah. embracing personal responsibility. <clears throat> um, maybe there's some questions and maybe there's some answers to um, your personal responsibilities and why we must embrace it. So. How would you like to go about that, Joma? Yeah. Um, yeah so what are the questions then? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, let, let me let me share a couple of things also. Uh, you know, so far we have talked about why it is important for you and I to embrace personal responsibilities. Now, let me share a few things as well. What is the price that we will have to pay if we neglect personal responsibilities? And what's the price? Because right? uh, everything we do, uh, there, it's a cause. There's a cause. If you want to be healthy, there, there's a price that you have to pay. And, uh, and if you neglect taking care of your health, there's a price as well right, that, you, that you have to pay for that. So it's the same thing with personal responsibilities. <clears throat> uh, what happens? What happens if you and I neglect our personal responsibility, neglect embracing personal responsibility? What is the price that you and I will end up paying? And let me share it with you. The prize are too hefty too big to pay. The first one is this. When we neglect embracing personal responsibilities, when we neglect to put our, put ourselves back in the driver's seat of life, we missed a lot of opportunities. We missed a lot of opportunities. Let me start with career, because some of you are probably in business. If you neglect your responsibilities in letting people know of what you do, Guess what? You're going to miss a lot of opportunities of possible clients because you neglected to embrace the responsibility of, quote unquote, marketing yourself. Uh, if, you, uh, <clears throat> if you neglect the responsibility of not spending time with your children, with your loved ones, with your family, with your wife, with your husband, what's the price that you're going to have to pay for that? I don't think I have to go to detail of what are the possible prize or cause of neglecting, embracing the responsibility of showing care and love to your family. Uh, another thing also of neglect personal responsibilities is, is that your friend, right? Your friend might say, hey, Kingston, uh, I have a friend, I think your service will, will fit best in helping this person. But because you neglected your responsibility to reach out and to call to this person that your friend is introducing you to, it's possible that you might have missed that client and coaching relationship yeah. because you neglected to reach out to this person. So these are just some of the examples of when we neglect responsibilities, embracing responsibility, it is most likely we're also missing a lot of wonderful opportunities that can help us improve our business, improve our relationship with our family, improve whatever it is in your life that needs to be improved because we neglected to embrace the responsibilities. So neglecting responsibility is a high price to pay. I guess that's the first thing that I want to mention. The second thing is about neglecting personal responsibilities. Often it leads to unfulfilled dreams, unfulfilled goals. Unfulfilled dreams, unfulfilled goals. When we neglect <clears throat> our responsibilities, Often there's a lot of dreams, life dreams, life goals that are neglected and not achieved. <clears throat> I'm going I'm to go back to my story about uh, school. I neglected my responsibilities to go back to school you know, when I was very early age. I didn't take school seriously. That was my, part of my responsibility to take school seriously, and I didn't. And because of that, um, I have missed so many years of I could have have experienced of what it means to become an excellent nurse. And, and the reason for that is I neglected embracing that responsibility of becoming the student that I know I needed to be to be at that moment. And for the price is that for the, another price that I have to pay because of that is I'm still in school right now instead of just enjoying this wonderful career. And so by neglecting, embracing my responsibilities in the past, I have missed all the years that I could have been working as a nurse 
a, you know, flourishing, flourishing in a career that I know I can be excellent at. Uh, what about a, as a coach? You know, you're neglecting your responsibility as to letting people know how excellent you are as a coach. Uh, you, you're neglecting the responsibility of letting people know that, hey, I'm here for you to serve you. And because of that, you're having, you're, you're having difficulty of acquiring clients because you did not, you're, having, you're not embracing the responsibility of you have to let people know about you or what you do. Uh, what about the neglecting responsibility of letting your children know that you love them, that you care about them on a daily basis? How is that going to affect them? How is that going to affect you? Right? So neglecting responsibility is a high price to pay. It's not worth it when we will think about it. Uh, <clears throat> the, maybe I could touch on, like you said, you're right there, John. Or maybe I could touch on, we talk about responsibility. I'm going to highlight just three aspects of what John was talking about. When we talk about responsibility. So he's having the responsibility to endure, having the responsibility to persevere, and having the responsibility to never give up. Yes. So mm -hmm. if we neglect these three responsibilities, as our dear friend Joma says, it amounts or it comes to unfulfilled dreams and unfulfilled goals. So it's entirely down to you audience and family it's highly down to you what are you going to do what is your choices what is the the right choice to take i'm sure you know that thank you thank you for that thank you for your add-on to the to my message i appreciate that and there's another thing also i want to share with you about the prize that we need to pay if we neglect embracing personal responsibility it's something that we all don't want to experience but it is part of life and often it shows up when we neglect our responsibilities and this is what we call pain and what i mean by pain in this context of not embracing responsibility is internal battle internal battle tell me if this is true in your life <clears throat> Often the internal battle, the internal pain that you have experienced or currently experiencing is often is due to not doing the things that you know you need to do. Let me give you an example. For example, if you're a person that you know you need to improve your health, but yet you're not embracing the responsibility to the thing to do the things that you said you need to do to improve your health. Isn't it true that there's an internal battle inside of you? I want to be healthy, but I, I'm, I'm not embracing the things that I need to do. So there's that internal battle inside of you, and often it, it creates it creates pain. Uh, again, just like a student. Since I'm a student, I can speak to this personally. When I know I need to study to a certain degree to pass an exam, at the same time, I'm not embracing that struggle that I need to do, that I will need to experience in this study. There is an internal battle. I said, what are you doing, drummer? You know what you need to do. How come you're not studying in a way that you should be studying so you can pass this exam. There's that internal battle inside of me and it's just like, it, it's painful. I'm like, I know I can do this, but at the same time, I'm neglecting the responsibilities or the tasks that I need to do. It, and, and this example of neglecting responsibilities or internal battle can be applied in a lot of things. For example, uh, if you're a husband or your wife, you're not loving your wife or your husband in a way that you know you're capable of doing and you should be doing. And there's that internal battle of like, oh, that you experience. I know you do. I know you do. So one of the prizes that we have to pay, the cause of neglecting our personal responsibility is a deep 
internal battle in our lives. So these are the three things that when we neglect personal responsibilities, we missed opportunities that probably most likely can change our life for the better. We end up having a lot of unfulfilled dreams and goals. And another thing, about neglecting, embracing our responsibilities, it creates a deep internal battle, pain in our lives. These are the three things that when we neglect personal responsibilities, these are the prizes, the cause that we have to pay for. Frankie, you have thoughts? <laughs> no, really, really. I love the way you put it, Joe. I could feel your your real care, your re real concern, your real responsibility to how important it is what you're talking about. And remember, the drama of our lives, we're like on this stage, aren't we, Joma? This is the drama of our life. And remember, when you do something in your life of responsibility, or you're serving people, like myself and Joma does, and a lot of people in this world are serving other people. Remember, there's people watching you, and it's your responsibility to make sure you're doing tasks or you're doing what you need to do for you to be happy and fulfilled in your life, because people are watching you. And sometimes when people are watching you, you're giving them that responsibility or you're showing them the responsibility of how to be the driver, how to be the driver in that car, in that, you know, driving your life in the seat of that car to your success or for you to be happy or for you to experience joy. As Joma said, remember, if we don't do it, who are we letting down? Who are the people are we letting down? And as John talked about, the pain. Who's experienced more pain than anybody else? You know who that person is, aren't you? Don't you? You know who that person is. So remember, it's always important, yeah, to be that person who's going to take responsibility. We cannot tell other people to take responsibility or do things in our life if we are not prepared to do it. Because then people don't believe you. People say, oh, but what, what's John we're talking about? Or what's Frankie talking about? They're not taking responsibility for our lives. So your actions and what you do leave a big impression and an effect on other people's lives. Because if you're leading by example, people will follow, always follow a person who's leading by example. So it's always important to lead, isn't it? and to do what you say you're going to do, and to embrace everything, not just the joys and the happiness, the sorrows and the sadness, because it's making you a stronger and a better person. Frank, let me also share an example. I think this will kind of make it more visual for all of us. <clears throat> let me use an example that I believe, I think that we can all relate to this. Maybe there's a few, some of you with exemptions, but I think for general, we can experience this. Have you had a toothache in your life? Right. <laughs> Have you also experienced that um, you neglected the toothache and only to experience a greater pain? and you continue to neglect it for whatever reason, you're afraid to see the dentist or whatever reason it is, but you neglect it to embrace the responsibility to address the toothache and suddenly it starts to affect the other two. And when, and suddenly you can't really eat the way you should because of the pain. And then suddenly you're short of temper uh, because of this toothache. See, that is what not embracing responsibility in life is. When, when you know that there's a, a part of you that you're neglecting to embrace responsibility, often it affects 
the other good things that are happening in your life. Just like that today. And it starts with one, two. But if I neglect to embrace my responsibility and taking care of that tooth, it will affect the tooth right beside it, then next to it, the next thing you know, instead of just having one problem, I have two, three, four, five problems in my teeth, simply because I neglected to take care of that one thing in the early stage. So that's very similar to when you know there's something in your life, there's something in my life that I'm neglecting to embrace responsibility and it's causing me pain. It's just a matter of time when this one thing will affect the good thing that's happening that I have in my life. And also it prevents me from being able to enjoy the current things that are happening, the good things, because this pain that I'm neglecting well, here's what I mean. When you have a toothache, can you really enjoy the food that you're eating? Obviously, the answer is no. You can't enjoy the food that you're eating when you have a toothache. Well, kind of the same thing. When you know that there's a pain in you because due to, neg due to negligence of not embracing responsibility, you can't really enjoy the rest of your life that are good things at the moment. You can only address fully enjoy the great things that are happening at the moment is by addressing this one thing that's stealing you, that's stealing that moment of being able to enjoy this, that one neglected thing. That's also one of the reasons why we must not neglect responsibility because it affects the great things that are happening and we can't fully enjoy them. So that's one of the big reasons why we must not neglect responsibilities. It prevents us from being able to enjoy what's working in our lives right now. I love that, Joma, the way you explained about a toothache. <laughs> <laughs> and you brought it on to me, Joma, that I need to go to the dentist as well. <laughs> I need to get my teeth checked out as well. So thanks for bringing, bringing that to my attention, Joma. Yeah, and I know what it's like. When you have toothache, believe me, I'm a person who's had a lot of toothache, yeah, had a lot of teeth taken out. So <laughs> thanks for bringing that on to me, Joma. But I like the way he actually put that across because it's Thank nothing you. worse. I don't like being in pain. <laughs> and when you neglect pain, you get more pain. Exactly. So it's something that you need to address. And if yeah. you don't address yeah. it, the pain gets even worse. That is right. And man. then basically, what happens with that pain, Joma? It becomes unbearable. Yep. So we, when we don't embrace personal responsibility, believe me, ladies and gentlemen, audience, live global speakers, yeah, that pain one day will become unbearable. Your life will be unbearable. And you know what? That's what happened to my life. My life became that unbearable. I had to do something about it because the pain was getting more and more, yeah? And it was making me go under. It was making me suffer. So to relieve that suffering and relieve that pain, mm -hmm. as Thomas says here in the workshop, I had to take full and embrace full responsibility for my own life. Yeah. So yeah, situation in your life will become yeah. unbearable. What do you choose? The unbearable side or to relieve that pain and suffering? as Joma touched on here very, very elegantly, very precisely. Thank you, buddy. So, so far I, I have shared with you why we must embrace responsibility. It's just because it's a way of showing that you care about yourself, you care about your family, you care about your loved ones, you care about the team that you work with. I also shared with you that neglecting responsibility is a high price and painful thing that we have to pay for if we neglect responsibilities. Now, the third thing is, <clears throat> what can we do? And if you find yourself stuck, feeling stuck in, in the road of not embracing responsibilities, if you find yourself pushing away from the responsibilities that you know you need to embrace because they're part of your journey to help you become a better person, a joyful person, 
uh, it, it, the struggles that you're pushing away are actually the ones that if you embrace them, will allow you to be able to love your family better. What can we do to go back from being a passenger of your life to being the driver of your life? Let me share you three things. <clears throat> the first thing is this, <clears throat> be honest. Be honest. And until, until honesty become the standard, we will always find a way to justify our negligence when it comes to embracing responsibility. Be honest. You know what, Jomer? <clears throat> you have neglected expressing your love to your wife. You know what, Jomer? You have neglected to put the necessary work in your study to pass the exam. You know what, Jomer? You have neglected to serve your client the way they should be served. You know what, Jomer? Fill in the blank. It's until I become honest about me not being, being irresponsible in embracing my personal responsibilities. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends, nothing will change. Nothing will change. See, simply to acknowledge that you're in the wrong road when you're lost doesn't automatically put you back on the right road. Imagine real quick, you're driving, you're going to visit your family, your friend, and then suddenly you, re you realize that you're going the wrong road. You turn right when you should have turned left <clears throat> or you took the wrong exit. Simply knowing that you took a wrong exit or you made a right instead of left doesn't automatically put you back in the right road. It just tells you you're on the wrong road. But first I have to be honest that I took the wrong road so that I can go back to the right road. It's the same thing for you and I. Until I become honest about myself that I'm neglecting certain responsibilities, nothing will change. So the first thing is, I need to be honest to this person. Jomer, you have neglected embracing responsibilities and showing your love to your family. Jomer, you have neglected your responsibilities in growing in your faith. Jomer, you have neglected responsibilities in growing your business. Jomer, you have neglected fill in your blank. So the first thing is, be honest. Be honest. You know, just like that toothache. If you have a toothache, acknowledge it. Don't say, oh, that's not a toothache. Yeah, oh, it's a small pain. No, I acknowledge it. The second thing is, <clears throat> see, 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 taste, and feel. See, taste, and feel, right? What do I mean? Let me talk to you for a second. <clears throat> I want you to think about an area of your life that you know for certain that you're neglecting. It's causing you pain. It's causing you a lot of dissatisfaction. And I want you to think, I want you to see, right? Really see it in your head, how it's affecting you and affecting other people, especially the one that you love. And I want you to see it in your head. How is it affecting you? See, the second thing is I want you to feel how does it really make you feel knowing you're neglecting this one thing that's causing you pain? And not only you, but also other people around you that you love and care. See, really feel it. And then just like if you're tasting an apple or your favorite fruit, when you take a bite, you, you taste every juice of that fruit. I want you to feel the same thing with this one. 
I want you to really see what's going on, who's being affected by your negligence, by my negligence. Really feel it, the pain that you're feeling, the pain that they're feeling. Now, really taste the pain. Really taste it. Sometimes that's what's required for us to go back to the driver's seat. Not just to see it in our head. Oh, yeah, I know it's causing. No, 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 no. That's not going to get you nowhere. That's not going to get It's not going to get me anywhere. I have to really see who are the people being negatively affected and who is really, because of my negligence, who is in pain because of my negligence. Feel it. Feel their pain. Feel your pain. And then taste it like if you're eating your favorite food. Right? See, taste, and feel. So for a very powerful tool for you to get your butt up and embrace the responsibility that you need to embrace. The third thing is I think it's often often gets often overlooked is ask for help. Yes, ask for help. If you truly care about yourself, you truly care about your business, you want to flourish in your business and you want to reach out to other people more so you can help them in the service that you know you're able in doing, to really be able to experience the joy that you know you're capable of enjoying and you're capable of being able to enjoy down the road. I, um, ask for help. You know, uh, find a coach. Find a mentor. Find an accountability group. And say, hey, man, I need your help. I'm struggling in this area of my life. I'm neglecting my responsibility in, in growing my business. Because of it, it affects, it's affecting me financially. And this financial problem, because of my negligence of this, is affecting my family. Can you help me? Hey, man, I'm struggling about um, spending time with my family the way I should. And I, it's a negative affecting the quality of my relationship with my family, my kids. I need your help on this. Can you help me? I find someone that you know can help you get back in the driver's seat. So what are the things that can help you and I to get back in the driver's seat of life so we can embrace greater responsibilities so that we'll be able to show that we truly care about yourself, truly care about your family, truly care about your business, truly care about helping other people. Be honest. See, taste, and feel. Allow, the third one is, ask for help. Ask for help. The prize is too hefty not to ask for help. So those are, these are my thoughts in regards about personal responsibility. Without it, we'll miss a lot of wonderful experience. With it, embracing it, God knows how much accomplishment that we will be able to accomplish. God knows how much more joy that we'll be able to experience. God knows how much more wonderful your relationship will be with your family and your loved ones when we truly, truly, genuinely embrace the responsibilities that we need to embrace. So please, if you find yourself neglecting responsibilities, stop. Get back on your driver's seat. Ask for help. It's worth it, guys. It's worth it. Frankie? Thank you so much, Shoma. Shoma just touched on it there. Embracing personal responsibility. Be really clear about yourself embracing personal responsibility. Be honest. Have integrity. Be true to yourself. Be true to who you are. Be true to your self-worth. That you can embrace personal responsibility to the best of your ability. Really, really important, guys. Hold yourself accountable. 
ask for help. The most simple thing about life sometimes is doing the simple things. And as Joma said, just asking for help it can be so challenging, especially for men, to ask for help because our ego always gets in the way. So try, the more simple your life is, the more proof and embracing his personal responsibility like Joma talks about, you will get for your life. If you keep your life simple, just have a simple plan but embracing personal responsibility. That's all you need, audience. That's all you need, ladies and gentlemen, and live global speakers. So really think about what Joma has said. I know there's loads of amazing information. And remember, myself and Joma Delia, we're speaking from our experience. It's coming rich from our lives. We can't talk about things which we know has impacted our life and made a difference in our life. And we know that embracing personal responsibility is something that myself and Joma has to do to be the people who we are today. So we're talking always from embracing our own personal responsibilities. Okay, so I really hope that helps. Joma, do you just want to wrap up the meetings? Is there anything else you just yeah. wanted to share before we just tie up the actual workshop? Uh I just want to say that uh, to you, uh, to you, the person on the other side of this camera, you have a God-given gift. You have a God-given talent. You have a message that only you can deliver, that only you can impact the people that you love, your community, and the people around you. Embrace the responsibility of bringing this message out so you can experience the joy and the people around you can feel the positive impact of your message. Embrace the responsibility and bring your message out so people can learn from your message and you and them can grow together in life. My dear friend, Thank you so much, Joma. Thank you for an amazing workshop again, Joma De Leon. Thanks for sharing your, your important, your vital information about embracing personal responsibility. I really felt your sincerity, your honesty, and even your heart in everything that you say. And it's really important that the audience and everybody here watching this workshop today, that they really embrace it not just with their minds and in their thoughts, but in their hearts as well. And they really understand our passion, the compassion and our passion for people to be responsible for their own lives and to make a difference, not just in their own lives, but to make a difference to the world, society and the community that they live in. It's really important to remember, we all have to live up to that now. And I'm sure we are, but we always have to check in on ourselves and to make sure that we're doing it. So, Joma De Leon, thank you so much. I appreciate thank you. you. Thank you so much for this workshop. Audience, global speakers, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. You know, we always look forward to your feedback, your comments, and you know where to find us on this live interactive learning forum for young adults. And we're always here to try and inspire the younger generation to be the drivers of their life. So thank you so much again. Thank you Live Global Speakers community and all the people you know who you are for making this happen. My warmest wishes to you all. Take care and enjoy the rest of your weekend and thank you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you everyone. Have Take a care now. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Bye-bye.